Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, System Integration and Architecture Series. Today we are on our lecture number one, and our topic is the syllabus of the subject. Now the course title is the System Integration and Architecture. The course code is INTEM 30033. The course credit is three units in five hours. We have two units lecture and one, one unit laboratory. Prerequisite COM20103, COM20163, and COM20253. Course description This course studies the process of integrating different systems and software applications by examining current and emerging trends, strategies, and techniques for developing system integration solutions effectively. Example topics covered include, but are not limited to, documenting integration requirements using business process models, designing integration solution reusing patterns, and implementing integration solution using service-oriented architecture. Students will extend course topics via library assignment, programming assignment, tool evaluation assignment, and other assigned activities. Let's move on to the institutional intended learning outcomes for the students, such as creative and critical thinking, adeptness in the responsible use of technology, community engagement, high level of leadership and organizational skills, strong service orientation, effective communication, sense of nationalism and global responsiveness, sense of personal and professional ethics. And the last, passion to lifelong learning. Under Program Intended Learning Outcomes, or the PILO, the course outcome, such as community-based transformational learning, is about providing students with first-hand experiences that take them outside the walls of the classroom and into the community. By engaging in this activity, students learn how to translate theory into practice, strengthen their sense of civic and ethical responsibility, and gain from professional and career development opportunities. In many cases, these experiences transform the lives of students, prepare a research paper and deliver professional presentations on fundamental concepts studied in the course, explain key challenges, concept drivers, and strategies to relate system integration projects, explain and apply organizational and managerial issues related to system integration projects, explain and apply key systems, integration architecture methodologies, and technologies, Identify and assess current and emerging system integration tools. Define and analyze system integration requirements using business process models. Design feasible solution for an integration problem that utilizes proven design solutions described in integration patterns. And the last, apply advanced integration technologies to implement system integration solutions. Let's go now to the main topics per week. So the topic for the midterm period, we have introduction in the syllabus as we are doing right now. Overview of system integration, challenges and dri drivers, types of system integration, system integration technologies, enterprise resource planning system and business process model, and the last integration methodologies. And after that, we're going to take our midterm exam. Next, in the final period topic, we have designing system integration solutions and enterprise integration patterns, XML and application integration, system integration tools assessment presentations, service-oriented architecture and web services, research day, advanced web service technologies, integrating web services into applications, and the last, selecting commercial off-the-shelf product. And that's lead to the final examination or final project presentation. Now let's move on to the grading system. Under midterm, we have project title presentation, activity 70%, documentation, paper presentation or quizzes, and projects as case study. And then we're going to have midterm exam. So 70% plus 30 is 100%. And on the final, we have oral defenses, 60%, advisor grade, 30%, or quizzes and projects as case study. Then the final exam, or the final mock defense, as 10%. The total grade of midterm plus final divided by 2 is the final grade. Changes made due to pandemic. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 1.